March 23, 2010. Private Bradley Manning, a 23-year-old Army intelligence analyst, was arrested and incarcerated on suspicion of leaking classified United States documents about Iraq and Afghanistan wars, as well as diplomatic cables of the United States embassies. There was also a video in the leaked documents now known to the world as collateral murder. This video shows two American airmen in an MS-64 Apache helicopter lying to their ground controller about the presence of armed insurgents on the ground in Baghdad. The ground controller then gives them permission to fire on the Iraqi civilians. Twelve civilians are killed, two of which were Reuters journalists, arrested in Baghdad and jailed in Kuwait. Bradley Manning was then moved to the military brig at Quantico, Virginia and while kept in complete isolation allegedly awaiting trial, he was subject to treatment described by hundreds of legal experts as torture. Bradley Manning still waits for a pre-trial hearing one year later, locked in a 10 by 6 foot cell for 23 hours a day without sheets, a pillow, personal effects or his glasses, and forced to sleep naked during the mandatory 7 hour sleep cycle. All of this abuse was committed under the pretense of Manning's alleged suicide risk. Bradley Manning's lawyer David Toombs had said that it was a violation of the military rules because Quantico's psychologist denied that Manning is suicidal. Quantico Brid violated PFC Manning's constitutional right to due process. The facts surrounding PFC Manning's pretrial confinement at Quantico made it clear that his detention was not in compliance with legal and regulatory. April 20, 2010. Bradley Manning was moved to the Fort Leavenworth prison in Kansas following criticism over his nine-month detention at the Quantico Brig. The move was intended to show that the treatment of Manning will be much fairer now that the complaints registered have made their public and legal mark. But they did not tell us that along with the move came an apparent order for PFC Manning's indefinite incarceration. One of the several charges that have been put to paper but not yet read in court is cooperating with the enemy, a charge that makes Manning eligible for the death penalty. But the fact is that the cables and video, supposedly leaked by Bradley Manning, have shown the world terrifying acts that must be condemned. Acts of what have commonly come to be called whistleblowing are driven by technologically changing times, ethics, and morals that we can readily observe when concerned people in the West seek a more just world while the moment shows that we have been deceived by our own leaders. The truth is the pardonable innocence of Bradley Manning has been displayed by showing the world this information even if he is guilty according to the military justice system. It was hidden but it should have been available to everyone. The United States government should have been honest and not censored or buried this information but instead released it and acted on it by investigating the perpetrators of the crimes shown in the video, not the whistleblowers. The question we should all have in mind is, who supports this hero? Most people know and support Wikileaks and Julian Assange, but meanwhile, time is passing and Bradley Manning's life is being wasted in jail. Heroic if he did release the collateral murder video, and incarcerated in inhumane conditions under false pretenses for a year if he wasn't the one responsible. Either way, it is glaringly obvious to all of us that Bradley Manning shouldn't be the one in court as we can see when we view those cables and the atrocities he allegedly was exposing. Free Bradley Manning. Jail the criminals not the whistleblowers. We are anonymous. We are legion. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Expect us.